arbitrary tribunal will now enter. tribunal has heard with great satisfaction of the steps which have been taken by the chief prosecutors to make available to defending counsel the numerous documents upon which the prosecution relies with the aim of giving to the defendants every possibility for a just defense. It only remains for me to direct, in accordance with the provisions of the Charter, that the indictment shall now be read. And the Charter of this Tribunal annexed that too hereby accuse as guilty in the respects hereinafter set forth of crimes against peace, war crimes, and crimes against humanity, and of a common plan or conspiracy to commit those crimes, all as defined in the charter of the tribunal, and accordingly name as defendants in this cause and as indicted on the counts hereinafter set out, Hermann Wilhelm Goering, Rudolf Hess, Joachim von Ribbentrop, Robert Lai, Wilhelm Keitel, Ernst Kaltenbrunner, Alfred Rosenberg, Hans Frank, Wilhelm Frick, Julius Dreischer, Walter Funk, Halma Schacht, Gustav Krupp von Bollen und Halbach, Karl Dönitz, Erik Reder, Baldur von Schirak, Fritz Sattel, Alfred Jodl, Martin Bormann, France von Papen, Arthur or Conspiracy. A, the Nazi Party as the Party, together with certain of its subsidiary organizations, became the instrument of cohesion among the defendants and their co-conspirators, and an instrument for the carrying out of the aims and purposes of their conspiracy. Each defendant became a member of the Nazi party and of the conspiracy with knowledge of their aims and purposes or with such knowledge became an accessory to their aims and purposes at some stage of the development of the conspiracy. B, as the sole bearer of the foregoing and other doctrines of the Nazi party, was entitled to shape the structure, policies, and practices of the German state and all related institutions to direct and supervise the activities of all individuals within the state and to destroy all opponents. D, the acquiring of totalitarian control of Germany, political. One, first steps in the acquisition of control of state branches or agencies of the state and party 
were permitted to operate without restraint of law. The Nazi conspirators conceived that, in addition to the suppression of distinctively political opposition, it was necessary to suppress or exterminate certain other movements or groups which they regarded as obstacles to the retention of total control in Germany. Before launching their aggression against Poland, they appointed the defendant Funk, plenipotentiary for economics. On 30 August 1939, they set up the Ministerial Council for the Defense of the Reich to act as a war cabinet. F, utilization of Nazi control for foreign aggression. First, the status of the conspiracy by the middle. C, on 10 March 1935, the defendant Goering announced that Germany was building a military air force. On 16 March 1935, the Nazi conspirators promulgated a law for universal military service in which they stated the peacetime strength of the German army would be fixed at 500,000 men. E. On 21, five, expansion of the war into a general war of aggression planning and execution of attacks on Denmark, Norway, Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, Yugoslavia, and Greece, 1939 to April 1941. Individual, group, and organization responsibility for the offense stated in count two. Reference is hereby made to Appendix A of this indictment for a statement of the responsibility of the individual defendants for the offense set forth in this count two of the indictment. Reference is hereby made to Appendix B of this indictment for a statement of the responsibility of the groups and organizations named herein as criminal groups and organizations for the offense set forth in this count two of the indictment. 